Hey everyone, it's M4J here and welcome back to Blue Veil vale here on City Skylines and I have a question for you all. Off camera, I've been upgrading my rails. You can see one here. Uh, I have no idea why that's got a raised bit and that hasn't. If it's because of the um, the land difference here, then that's pretty cool. Um, you'll notice as well, this isn't electrified. Uh, I need to find an electrified version of this rail. I also kind of like the fact that there's a bit of a glitch with the brickwork there, but it does look like these two tunnels are at different heights, which is good. Although if you can see on the inside there, that tunnel wall goes straight through the track, which I'm not a huge fan of. I guess the first bit of the tunnel has to be straight. Uh, over in this side, um, we have a similar issue. You can kind of see it's not as bad this side. It cuts in on the left-hand side here instead. The bit where I think I've broken everything and the question I have for you all is at this end of things because I've seemed to have made it now where once again we have no trains calling. Now I have replaced the station. I've put in the multi-platform station here again, uh, the multi-platform end station. I was looking through, uh, or starting to look through, I didn't get very far, um, the new transit options that came with, uh, tran what's it called, transit and hubs, transport and hubs, whatever the new free update is called. Uh, it's one of these here somewhere, I'm sure. I'm not even sure if I actually have access to them now I'm looking at it. Is it you? No, nope, that's sport. Oh, that's cool though. Stadium station. Oh, I'm definitely going to have to uh, to use that. Sweet. Um, yeah, it's one of these, I'm sure, and I can't remember what it's called, but it adds new station types. Um, is it this one? Nope, that's mass transit as well. But yeah, it depends on the uh, the types of. Um, actually, I think it has. It here i'm sure i'll be able to find it again i'm sure i'll be able to find it again but yeah I've, i'm trying to use railway 2 and i'm trying to get my head around railway 2 but as you can see i'm struggling to get my head around railway 2 so i thought i had the european track electrified but it's not electrified it's unelectrified and i'm always confused between node noded tracks and nodeless tracks and things like that and it's just a massive headache. So I think for now I'm just going to park doing all of this railway stuff while I try and find out just what the hell's going on. Um, and then we'll probably come back and revisit this. But yeah, right now the railway's balked. I've not got the uh, the railway line up in operation either. Another thing I've done here is reroute the tram. So the tram now comes into the middle of this area here. Right now we've just got a single pair of tracks. Uh, originally... The way this worked was um, there was a node in the middle here. Oh, I need to lower the speed limit of this section here. Um, yeah, originally there was a uh, uh, three pairs of tracks here and there was a node in the middle uh, or a node at the end of them. And then when I did this, this was the center track and there was a node in the middle and I thought well, that could work. But then I decided to make it just one solid section. I might actually add the node back in and see if I can do four stops. And then if vehicles come in and use those four stops, that would be brilliant. So we'll see if that works or not. The main thing is the tram is actually using this. And there are people here waiting to get on and off, which is good. Uh, although, again, the more I look at this, the more I wish I hadn't built it the way I had. And then uh, you can also see here, this is now a pathway again. Good. So... I'm annoyed about this. I want this to work, but right now it isn't. Again, if anyone has any ideas, let me know. I've been trying to go through the um, the Steam page to find out what the heck's going on. And I have no clue as to how to get this to work at all. Um, so if you've got any suggestions, feel free to let me know. That'd be very much appreciated. But today, we're going to follow up on a suggestion from a viewer. So, oh my god, what's happened here? Oh, once again, this. Bane of my existence. Uh, I'm going to move this at some point. I don't know where to, but I am going to move it because it's getting on my nerves. Um, and it's just causing problems. Is There's another main road somewhere around here, I thought. I oh, know, I moved it from that one up to here. Yeah. And now it causes even more problems. So I think what I'm going to do actually take this and see if I can cram it in somewhere up here maybe like there and that gives people 
like a reason for trucks and stuff to come down here. They're probably gonna have to loop around on the way out here, but ah, it's fine. Um, and then we can rezone this area. So yes, today, viewer suggestion. So I was talking about National Park and I was talking about the park and ride that I built um, a few episodes ago now, I'm trying to remember. Um, oh yeah, I also did some stuff over here, which I'm probably gonna explain in a future video as well. But yeah, this park and ride, and I was looking for excuses to sort of justify its existence. And someone suggested, why don't I use this area here, at least, or the buses as well, as a, a cable car stop and have a cable car that runs up over the motorway into the national park, which is this huge area here bounded by this sort of sand dirt line. I thought that is an excellent idea. So that's what I'm going to end up doing. I'm going to angle it in a way where it'll kind of go over this way because I think the main entrance to the park is going to be sort of on this area here and I was going to try and put a railway station uh, which line would it be one of these lines um, there'll be a railway station as well that would serve the park and then that'll be how people get from the yards it seems a bit weird they come down this way to then loop back but that's how cities work I suppose and yeah I thought that'd be a cool idea uh, so I'm just checking that the traffic here is flowing okay again now. Let's have a look. Do I have a... No, I don't. We will get to the crux of the episode in a second, I promise, everybody. Um, it's just this is... I'm at that stage again where the game is starting to annoy me. And if you've played City Skylines for an extended period of time, I'm pretty sure you'll know what I'm talking about. Where just mods are misbehaving. I loaded the game up for the first time since the update today. And it just... I hadn't unsubscribed from any mods or anything like that. It just decided to switch off node controller and network extensions and uh, the uh, network multi-tool. You know, the really useful mods that I've been using for the last few weeks in this series to make all my intersections look nice oh the intersection marking tool was turned off as well so you can imagine my horror when all of my intersections where i've used node controller had all been reset to default and the intersections where i'd used intersection marking tool had all been reset to default and so on and so on it was horrendous i was not best pleased uh, thankfully that just required a, a a reload and switching those mods back on and here we are back and running again but my god that's annoying and yeah this game annoys me sometimes and I'm very much looking forward to City Skylines 2 but I think one of the reasons why I've been a bit grumpy on Discord about it lately is because um, I'm getting a bit fed up with <laughs> with City Skylines 1 at the moment and it's getting a bit much but yeah we uh, we'll keep going for now and we'll see how it goes right national park so i don't really know what this area is going to be called apart from i've got an idea that, to call it blue vale national park but that does sound a little bit boring so i might have to change that name at some point in the future but uh right now i'm going to start laying down some path work and things like that i want to get some pathway of some sort up and over this valley here uh and then have maybe like a picnic viewing area here with some stuff and then somehow you know wind its way down I'd love to have a, some sort of double bridge over this section here and then the main entrance way and most of the main attractions will be down on this section here so let's get cracking shall we
Okay, so we've got to this part of the build. You can see we've got people coming into Vale Park now. Actually, we've got quite a few people coming into Vale Park. Um, the last city I built, might have been two cities ago actually, um, New Guard City. The cable card didn't work. I don't know why it didn't work, but it didn't work. This time around, it is working and it's looking awesome. There is one problem though, which is I just want the ride cable car. Uh, I don't want the normal cable car. And I don't know how to turn that off. But it doesn't matter too much because we have got people. Well, we did have people. There we go, one there. Yeah, for that. We have people coming in. That's the main thing. Um, I am still going to go ahead with the plan to build a railway station here. I think I'm going to somehow squeeze it in, maybe on a road just down here. And then have people walk up and around. One last thing, though, I want to do today before I wrap things up is sort out our trash problem. You can see we've got a few buildings here that need trash picked up. Uh, and I was just looking on here, you might have seen. So our landfill usage is quite low. Um, and garbage processing status is quite high. Um, I think the problem we've got right now is trucks just can't get to where they need to go or they're too far away. Now I am going to end up building an industrial area. I'm just going to check quickly. Yep, that's still not working. So I have definitely balked that. Um, I'm going to build an industrial area down this way uh, with this building as part of it and these tracks here as part of it and try and make it look good. I'd love to know how they managed to make that work, by the way. It's not the prettiest, but it does look practical at least. Although that drop there would be a bit severe. Um, maybe coming off this road, in fact, and then a in little industrial area here and then have uh, a freight terminal as part of this. And in fact, I might do that now or at least build the freight terminal part of it just to test if the railway is in fact busted or if it's just uh, a case of the passenger station doesn't work. So I think I'm going to do that because that's not a bad idea. So let's build this like so and then I want to reduce it down to probably this type actually. Um, and we're going to have you come straight out like, oh, there we go, like this. Um, probably as far, actually maybe just one block like so. Um, I'm going to use node controller here. We're going to put you level with this like that. You here are going to come down I guess like that. That kind of looks like it works. And then we're also going to have where are we? This. You're going to come up this way. And right now, you're just going to sit like that. That's absolutely fine. Uh, and then for this bit. So for here, I'm going to have a section that comes out like this. And you're actually going to be the exit. And then we're going to have a section that runs along like this. And you're going to be where our freight station is going to go. I'm just looking yeah no, this should work uh, and then all of this section here is going to be the entrance way but I'm going to build it like this and hopefully this will work hopefully this will work as is and I won't have to do any fancy you know slaloms or anything like that I could just build it like this and it will work fine um, as for this here you're going to be left turn only you're obviously going to be straight on only and then as for this one here you're going to be straight on you're going to be whoops to the right and then for the exit i guess we can get away with this i am going to put a default traffic light on this like so uh, I'm also going to use node controller again if I straighten you out a little bit and then move this back like this that'll be good and then also here uh, you can drive straight into the junction so can you and then here you can I might not for the others don't see much point in doing it for the others right now I'm also going to add the freight station itself, which is going to be, so what are you, you're just a train station, so yeah, it's just going to be the normal cargo 
terminal like this. I am going to use, um, or am I? Actually, that's a good question. I might not thinking about it. I was debating using um, this type of track, but I don't know what I'd gain out of doing that actually. So I'm not going to do that. I am going to use this here. Is this the nodeless one? No, this is the noded one. That's fine. Okay, and then I'm going to bring this track around like so. We're going to bring it up to uh, here. Like that. We're then going to put it on a bridge up and over the river here. Sure. Um, it's a bit too much for a gradient there, but never mind. And then we're going to bring it down nice and gentle uh, this way, this way, and then to alongside this track here. And then here it's going to curve in and join. Like so. And that actually works, I want to say. I could have had it run alongside a little bit further, but I think that is fine. Um, I'm now going to, oops, did not mean to close that actually. I'm now going to make this look prettier. So first of all, all of this up to here, we're going to have a, a single um, gradient. Now technically this to somewhere over here can be a single gradient as well. And then this over to the station itself can be a single gradient. Now, if this starts producing traffic, I know the problem is the station and not the track. If this doesn't produce traffic, your guess is still as good as mine. Um, hopefully that's enough to power this. It probably isn't. And yeah, we're going to build this along like this, this and like this. And then we're just going to do something like this. Cool. I should get that working. I hope. Water, there we go. Right, yes. Look at that. There is a freight train incoming. So the problem is the station and it's not the track. So that's interesting. That's actually very interesting because I don't know how I'm going to fix that. And that's also incredibly frustrating. Um, also, why is this... Yeah, those are not flat gradients, which is a bit annoying. If I slope you, this one here I could easily slope. There we go. Where's our train? Here it is. And here it comes, our first ever freight train arriving at Bluevale. 100% full. And delivered. Lovely. And here come our trucks. Oh, lovely stuff. These are all coming to our service points, which means slightly less traffic coming into the city on the roads, but more traffic operating around the city on the roads, which is fine. It's not the end of the world. Um, I am going to, and this is probably going to balk things as well, um, I am going to put a 5 mile an hour speed limit in the station itself, and then a um, 30 mile an hour limit. So it would have been easier if I did it like this like so and then here as well five miles an hour all around this loop 20 there and then the rest can just be default 30 including you nice okay so what's the point of all this then so the other thing i wanted to do was add some um trash facilities here because from here they can get to the motorway quite quickly and to wherever it is they need to be um, they could also use the normal road here as well, of course, but I think for the most part, they're probably going to want to get to the other parts of the city. Plus, I mean, yeah, Blue Shores here is supposed to be one of the nice parts of the city and it's just full of trash and it's awful and horrible and disgusting. So we're going to move some of the really bad bits away from that. So let's grab this road here and we're going to come down 
probably to there actually and then just this way like that and we could keep coming try not to pollute the water if we can help it let's do it to like here and then we're just going to grab so the waste processing sends out waste transfer trucks to pick up garbage from waste transfer facilities and landfill sites for further processing. So that sounds like something we want to do on this side of things. So I could probably fit three of these. I hope. There you go. Two. And we can indeed fit a third one, although it's going to block the track there in the future. On the opposite side, I'm going to put some incineration plants. And in fact, just for this reason here, I'm going to remove you. Yeah, and I'm going to put some landfill on this bit, I think. Again, it's really horrible and disgusting, but every city needs this. It's a, uh, it's a necessary evil. I'm going to put some recycling centers on the way out of here, though. Just a couple, maybe a few. Let's go for a few. Go with five. Come on, there we go. And then we're going to put some incineration plants down here, and this will also provide some power to these buildings. And it means we can get rid of some of the other bits around that are uh, causing pollution. So come down here, we can start looking at getting rid of, I think, are these recycling plants? Yeah, these are recycling, sorry, centers, not plants, recycling centers. We've also got the sewage stuff here, which we could potentially get rid of, and we've got like a million and one cemeteries as well, which we definitely need to get rid of. Uh, particularly as this part of the park now, or sorry, this part of the road borders the national park, it does make sense to perhaps not pollute the ground as much. Um, you know, just a thought. You can see the ground's already turning purple where the pollution's kicking in. And it means we could put some other nice buildings up here, maybe use some of the shopping um, assets that are part of the new DLC, and just, just do better. Okay, I think that's all of them. Although, what are you? You look like one as well, actually. Yeah, you're a waste transfer facility, so we'll get rid of you. I will put some of those around the city in various places. Oh, we're definitely getting rid of this one as well. Um, but for the most part, we don't need them. Like we don't, we certainly don't need big ones like that in uh, in these areas. What's wrong with you? High cargo traffic. Okay, sure. Ah, yes, as you can see quite a build up now of traffic. Uh, I'm going to say that you are left turn only as well and I'm going to have you go in all directions. Um, I'm going to redo this because obviously we didn't have this one before. Right, stop, edit. So which one are you? You are this. So we're going to say between 5 and 30. Uh, more waiting than driving, that's fine. Edit between 5 and 30. Edit. I mean, this one doesn't actually have a... Um, I'm just going to say green on this. Uh, and you were on. Oh, wait, no. No, you weren't on. Yeah, you're off. It's this one. There we go. Uh, between five and actually between no no five because there's nothing queuing at the moment and thirty and start off you go. So yes, eventually this stuff here we're gonna plumb this in as well of course. Uh, eventually this stuff here is gonna be dealing with a lot of our trash and then uh, hopefully things like the national park especially. Which I do feel like somewhere I could build another entryway into this. Uh, also, I thought I turned off car access here. I guess I did, but not for this bit. But I want people parking up here. 
The whole point of the cable car is no parking is allowed anywhere around here. This is cable car access only and bus eventually I suppose but right now cable car access only otherwise it defeats the point a little bit there we go now yeah we are processing people like nobody's business through this which is fantastic we do have um dead person waiting for transport which yeah not ideal did i not disable park no huh now i have and yeah they can get in through there so you can see the route is quite convoluted to get here but once they're here um, they should be here to stay. I am just for the sake of speeding things up a little bit gonna put a little crematorium Just there and I am gonna allow u-turns Out of here And possibly On the other side as well u-turns in Although, Yeah not really an issue uh, yeah you can just go wherever you like and this one I'm just gonna say this one can only go there and there that's fine I could probably straighten this out a little bit more make it functional a little a little bit more as well same with this side but it's not the end of the world whether they are or not just should mean that I think something someone's already responding to this and that's why it's not a big deal. Okay, I think um, that's basically as, as good as it's going to get right now. I'm pretty happy with this. I noticed as well that the game looks absolute garbage right now. I tried to load it with a map theme and I think I've balked it as well. So that's probably what's happened there. Uh, I'm going to try and find out what's going on with this because clearly that's not working properly. We know that it's not the, uh, the track because there's freight trains coming in left, right and centre here. So there's something wrong with the station. I'm going to do some digging. I'm going to try and find out what it is. It could just be a case of I need to link up more platforms because the platform that's currently connected to that track isn't one that functions properly. So I'm going to have a look at connecting tracks up and that kind of thing. I'm also going to have a look to see what's going wrong with this tunnel here. Um... And I'm going to make the game stop looking like garbage as well. But for now, everybody, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. And of course, if you're enjoying the series so far, please do drop some comments down below. Any advice, any advice on stations, uh, na national parks, natural parks. I call them national parks, but I think in the game they're actually listed as natural parks. But any advice, please do let me know down below. It's very much appreciated. Otherwise, if you haven't already subscribed to the uh, the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button if you have already subscribed. Whoops. Clicking the wrong things here now. If you have already subscribed to the channel, thank you guys for your continued support. Wow, why can't I click on this? I've distracted myself now and I've ruined my outro. Um, yeah, if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, be sure to hit the subscribe button. If you have already subscribed to the channel, thank you guys for your continued support. It's very much appreciated. Enjoy the rest of your evenings. I'm going to stop clicking on random things now so I can end the video properly. And until next time, I will see you soon.